Assalamualaikum semua. Selamat oh, pagi. Uh, bertemu kita kembali di uh, sesi video untuk kelas hari ini. Uh, hari ini uh, 8 Disember 2020. So far um, for this class instrumentation we have done assignment but uh, assignment is actually project <coughs> but what I did is uh, for the assignment one and assignment two is um, an exercise yeah, for you to prepare for test as well as quiz so uh, uh, that assignment one and two the marks will be counted um, maybe um, I will I will put in a quiz or uh, into the assignment itself. It depends. It depends to the uh, to your coursework. Uh, at the end of this uh, semester, uh, I will um, decide which uh, uh, which uh, carry mark to be uh, add on. So. Uh, so far, don't worry about the um, assessment. Uh, it is either assignment or quiz. Uh, once uh, I decided uh, to give you assignment, all the marks will be counted. Um, we will have a project as well as lab. And last one is final examination. So we have done test one. So uh, the, the next assignment that we are we don't we still not doing is um, test two, final exam, projects, and as well as that. And also there are a few other quiz. So uh, you will will expect that the quiz is. Uh, is uh, some sort like uh, activities uh, after after the lecture to ensure that you study to to watch uh, the video that I prepare. So we we do the quiz uh, because some quiz I put the restriction where you have to download or watch the uh, the video then we can you can do the quiz okay so um <clears throat> please uh, uh, follow whatever instruction given mm, and and uh, do the exercise go uh, study the slide all right um you don't have choice you have to do by your own uh, your friend is is far. Is not near you to ask anything. Uh, you can ask maybe through the WhatsApp, but it's it's different compared to the if uh, if you are in the campus, you know. So um, majority of your time is is majority of your work or assignment or anything is is on yourself. So, please uh, uh, try your best. Eh? Okay, so for today's class, I would like to go back to the chapter four. Uh, uh, even if I'm not mistaken, we have done, um, I've done uh, a, a, a few slides on the chapter four, but I will repeat it again, um, start from the beginning. Okay, so this chapter four, it's about measuring devices, sensors and transducers. We are going to learn sensors and transducers. I will go very fast if, if for the slide that we already covered before. So this is the, the topics, eh? the, the, the outline. Okay, uh, uh, strain measurement. So the first one, you're going to learn the strain measurement. Strain, what is strain? Strain. Uh, 
uh, is it necessary to measure amount stress uh, strain is stress on the aeroplane wing can handle anti it feels uh, because some materials for for any instrument for any uh, for but vehicle for example for any any material for any invention it requires some stress stress test strain stress uh, for example aeroplane right car or anything right if you if the material is not um, cannot handle stress then then it will damage can uh, so bridge for example okay so we need uh, we need uh, stress instruments to measure the stress. Uh, so strength. So we use a strength gauge sensor. Strength. Gauge. So I think we we I did explain this part. So I just um, go very fast. So this is basically the instrument looks like. So, so it is all about uh, electrical. Uh, how to get a signal. From the pressure. Uh, at the end, the, the measurement is based on the uh, electrical measurement. Uh, strain gauge is a passive transducer that uses electrical resistance variation in wire to sense the strain, the strain produced by a force on the wire. So, so it measures weight, pressure, mechanical force, and displacement. So this is uh, how the the sensor looks like. Uh, they letak dekat uh, this one for example here put it here and mm. okay. so whatever stress here so this electronic circuit will um, we convert signal stress signal into Electrical signal. I'm going to display. It's very simple to measure the uh, the stress of object. The function of strain gauge is to sense the strain produced by force on the wires. The strain gauge is generally used as an an arm of a bridge. Uh, okay, so this is a type of strain gauge, wire gauge, wire gauge, semiconductor. Gauge. Okay, so the working principle, this is the, the formula of the strain, uh, how we can measure the strain. If a metal conductor is stretched or compressed, its resistance change because uh, bila, bila object to uh, compress, other pressure, uh, so other something, other changes, changes, resistance changes. Length change and diameter change, resistivity change. Will other effect, other something force? Okay. So from here we can measure the the resistance. Okay, resistance equals to P multiplied by L. L is a uh, uh, length uh, divided by A. So we can get this. The changes, the resistance changes. So the form, this is the form. When external force forces are applied to a stationary object, stationary object stress and strain are the result. And the other um, external force stress, stationary object, stationary object like bridge, uh, uh, building. So stress, stress and strain are the result. I can add stress, I can add strain. Stress object internal resisting force. For a uniform distribution of internal resisting force, stress can be calculated by dividing the applied force by the unit. So this is the formula to measure the stress. Stress is a tekanan, strain is a regangan. So stress, so this is the formula of stress equals to force divided by diameter. 
divide by I L. So you will get the stress, tekanan. Okay, very easy. Yeah? This is more to the physics. Nah, you learn physics for strain, pula. So this is strain. Then this is strain. A fractional change. Ada perubahan kecil in the dimension of an object as a result of mechanical stress, force and so strain. Ini dia punya simbol dia. Terus tu perubahan terhadap panjang tu. Ni. Sebab dia dah ada regangan. Divide by uh, F. Panjang yang asal. Length. The, the, the original length. So this is the uh, strain tu. Regangan dah pula. Disebabkan orang ni. Uh, due to the force. Okay. So you get the formula of strain. So this is a stress and strain. Uh, stress is a uh, force divided by area, strain, length, change of length divided by uh, the divided by length, right? So, so this uh, about the stress and strain will be can be measured by the by the electrical circuit. Then we can get the the value. The constant of proportional between stress and strain for linear stress strain curve is known as the modulus of elast elasticity of the material or Young modulus. So E. Young modulus in kilogram per square meter, the stress in kilogram per square meter, the strains, no unit. So if you divide the stress and strain, you will get the Young modulus, which is Young modulus is a constant of proportionality between stress and strain constant of proportionality between stress and strain so you will get the young model okay a device whose electrical resistance varies in proportion to the amount of strain in the device the most widely used gauge is the bonded metallic strain so you so we have a very specific uh, a strain gauge for for a device which is uh, the the electrical resistance varies in proportion to the amount of strain in the device designed to convert mechanical motion into an electronic signal. If a wire is held under tension, it gets slightly longer and its cross sectional area is reduced. So, resistance R is related to length. An area of cross section of the resistor E and resistivity P of the material. So the formula for the resistance is a uh, resistance resist, resistivity P uh, multiplied by length of the object divided by uh, uh, area of cross section of the resistor E. So you can get the resistance. So this changes is the, this change in resistance are in proportion to the strain, to the strain sensitivity of the wires resistance. When a strain is introduced, introduced the strain sensitivity, which is called the gauge factor, is given by Gf gauge factor equals to changes in the resistance, resistances in ohm divided by uh, resistance. Uh, uh, and divide by uh, uh, strain, which is strain is uh, changes of L divided by L. Okay, strain. So you will get the gauge factor. Uh, a high degree of sensitivity is very desirable. So we want the high degree of sensitivity. Uh, because if any changes to the object, so uh, immediately we can we can measure, we can get the value. A high gauge factor means a relatively a relatively relatively large resistance for a given strain. Uh, very sensitive. Such a change is more easily measured than a small resistance change. Okay, so this is the typically strain gauge consists of foil. Wire grid, wire grid covered by two sheets of insulation, polymer. So this is the material that used for the shrinkage. 
The gauge is attached to the desired object with an adhesive. Longitudinal, longitudinal segment are aligned with the direction of stress. Uh, so this is the the sensor lah, the sensor that we put on the on the method on the object. Uh, then it is connected to the uh, quarter bridge uh, circuit uh, with a supply uh, 12 volt or 6 volt depends to the uh, requirement of the circuit. Uh, so whatever uh, whatever value of uh, strain here, value of stress, it's connected to the uh, circuit, this bridge, quarter bridge strain gauge circuit, then we can measure the value. Okay, so this is all the formula uh, uh, from the uh, circuit of the strain gauge, okay, and also the meter reading, kasihkan. Okay, um, so this is the the resistance R1, R2, R3, and R4. So this, is, for example, this is the value of R1, R2, R3, R4 with a supply 10 volt. Then we can measure the we can measure the voltage. We can measure the voltage, which by using this. Okay, to get the measurement. Okay, example, you can do this example, a resistance by by referring to this uh, formula and also this one. Um, a resistance strain gauge with a gauge factor factor of two is fastened to a steel to a steel member, which is subjected to strain of one uh, multiplied by 10 power of negative six. If the original resistance value of the gauge is 130 ohm, calculate the change in resistance. So this is so you can use this formula. Calculate the change of in uh, uh, the change in resistance uh, R, the change in initial resistance in ohm. So you can just go and apply the formula, and you can get the uh, the answer, the, which is 260. Micro. Okay, so next uh, temperature measurement. Uh, I, I think we are, I also covered this one, so um, I, I will make it very fast. Uh, heat thermal measure in joules, the quantity of heat cannot easily be measured, but the change of quantity can be measured. So this is this is all the instrument to measure the, the temperature, thermocouple, thermometer, thermometers RTD, handheld laser, thermometer infrared, fixed mount infrared thermometers, two kind of special thermometer. So basic types of temperature measurement, uh, contact type. Contact means that touch. Uh, uh, we need to touch. Uh, sensing element makes contact with the object. Mm. So the heat transfer or the absorb heat uh, dq in a small duration of time dt can be expressed as dq equals to a which is a thermal conduct dt of the sensor object interface a uh, capital a the surface where the heat transmit transmission is taking place and t not minus by t uh, and dt so this is the uh, formula of the heat transfer or the absorb heat dq Basic type of temperature measurement, uh, also contact type, make use of thermal radiation, also known as thermal detectors, example, thermal piles, pyroelectric sensors, active infrared sensors, and so on. So this is the, the sensor that used to measure the temperature by the uh, by contact or contact type. Thermal piles, pyroelectric sensors, uh, brake, okay. So the concept is based on the radiation. So this is the the measurement. Uh. Purpose of temperature sensor: first, for sensing of the temperature; second, for measuring the temperature of a physical process. 
So next is a resistant temperature uh, detector. So, so this is the uh, RTD. Okay, another sensor to measure the temperature. Okay. Temperature sensor that is based on the principal metal resistance increase increasing with temperature. Arteries are made of materials whose resistance change in accordance with temperature. Common metal use are platinum, nickel, copper, and tungsten are commonly used. A commercial thermal thermal works RTD pro. So this is the commercial one in eh? RTD. So this is the how the construction of RTD, a connection to leads, connection leads, shelf insulator. Okay. Example of RTD, the type of RTD, platinum, nickel, copper, tungsten. So this is the temperature of range, resistance, coefficient alpha, uh, uh, ohms per Celsius degree. A table for RTD that shows the typical, the type of material temperature range and the amount of resistance per degree Celsius. So this is a commercial thermal work of RTD Pro. Uh, relationship between temperature and resistance of conductor for the RTD. So RT equals to R reference multiplied by one plus uh, constant changes in constant multiplied by uh, changes in temperature. Temperature coefficient of resistance difference between operating reference temperature, uh, resistance at the reference temperature is zero degrees, the resistance of the conductor at T degrees Celsius. Okay, uh, two wire, three wire and four wire of RTDs. The symbol of, of for RTD is resistor with an arrow. Okay, so this is the type of sensor RTD. Normally RTD is used with bridge stone, bridge as the signal conditioning it's okay, we are going to learn this signal conditioning in chapter 5. So, purpose for having extra wires to provide temperature compensation. Extra lead can be used in wide variety of circuits to cancel off the effect of unwanted temperature so that all changes in resistance to the bridge come from the RTD. So, this is the electrical diagram of RTD connected to a Wheatstone bridge, to wire, three wire, so example, what is the resistance of platinum RTD at 70 degrees if the resistance at 25 degrees is 155 and if uh, coefficient at 70 degrees Celsius equals to 0 0.00392. So you can go and apply this formula, uh, just uh, fit in the value then you will get the uh, resistance of a platinum RTD. So this is the same example uh, as example five. Uh, at room temperature 20 degrees, the voltmeter in figure below give a reading of 2.501 volt. The temperature of a material is measured using a two wires tungsten RTD and the voltmeter now give a reading 2.307 volt. If coefficient 0 0.05, uh, 45, Ohm per Celsius determine the temperature in Celsius uh, uh, of the measurement. So we can use uh, uh, the same formula to get the value to solve the example or to get the value uh, in temperature of the measured material. Okay, so please do yourself example five, example six, and example example seven. Okay, next is thermistor. Thermistor are a temperature sensitive resistor, resistor, much like the RTD. Thermistors are made from semiconductor materials advantage, smaller and cheaper. Uh, fast output response to the temperature change disadvantages, lower measurement sensitivity, usually used for wisdom bridge in chapter five. So this is the electrical symbol of thermistor. Okay, so thermistor is also to measure the temperature. Temperature resistant characteristic for the thermistor, RT equals to R0 epsilon beta 1 over T minus 1 over T0, which is R0 resistant at the reference temperature T0, RT resistant at the measured temperature T, beta experimental determined constant for the given thermistor material, can be 0 degrees Celsius, 
270 kg. So the beta must be measured in Kelvin. So this is the relationship between resistance and temperature. R decrease as the T increase for the thermistor. Okay, example eight for a certain thermistor beta 3140 K and the resistance at 27 degrees Celsius is known to be 1050. The thermistor is used for temperature measurement and the resistance measured in 2330 find the measured temperature. So you can use the uh, this formula to measure the, uh, uh, the temperature, the temperature range for this example. It's also same to go, go to the example 9 and example 10. Okay, next is a thermocouple. It is another type to measure the temperature made from bonding of two different metal in the form of two symmetrical junction with one junction is fixed temperature reference point, I put voltage in, in the order of tens of millivolt, usually fit into or FET amplifier. So this is uh, how the thermocouple uh, looks like. Uh, T1 voltmeter, T2 wire, and cold junction. Okay, when a pair of wires made of different metal are joined together at one end, a temperature difference between this end and the other end of the wires produce voltage between the wires. So this phenomenon is called C back effect. So this form the basic of thermocouple, right? So this is the uh, figure of the uh, thermocouple wires, metal A, metal B, sensing junction. So we have the temperature reference connecting LEDs, then we, we have the uh, voltage out, right? To get the pain, depends on the material. A construction of thermocouple, it consists of a pair of conductor. Both conductors are connected on one side. This side is called the hot junction. The other sides where both conductors are open is called the cold junction. So it is connected to the voltage measuring equipment. So this side is maintained in hot and cold junction give the magnitude of voltage. So you can refer to this figure about the thermocouple. So this is the thermocouple in practice. Metal A and metal B, protective outer shell and the wire. So this is the sensor that that used to measure the uh, to measure the temperature. Okay, uh, metal one and metal two temperature to be measured, reference temperature, then voltage amplifier. Then we can get the uh, measurement of the temperature. Uh, so this is the example of the thermocouple uh, U.S. pattern. One is protective metal, two is first wire metal A, three second wire metal B, four insulation, five cement to hole insulation, six electrical insulation. All right, so this is more detailed thermocouple in practice. Uh, so this is the type of thermocouple, thermocouple B, thermocouple C, so name of metal A. So we have a lot of different uh, type of thermocouple, which is used a different method. It is a full application range. So this is the temperature that uh, the thermocouple can measure. Okay. Thermo, uh, thermal EMFS for some common thermocouple materials. Cooper sensitivity, uh, 41 microvolt, operating range negative 200 uh, Celsius, up to 1, 1 to 50 degrees Celsius. So you can see uh, the thermocouple sensor can can measure up to 1000 degrees Celsius, very hot. Okay, so output voltage of the thermocouple. So this is the formula for the output couple, uh, output voltage of the thermocouple, V0, uh, where C, uh, MV constant of the thermocouple material, T1 the temperature of hot junction, T2 the temperature of the core. Or reference junction. Okay, uh, compensation circuit. Uh, example of placing the second junction uh, in an ice bath to provide cold junction compensation. Uh, reference junction in ice bath. Example circuit that show a thermistor used to provide cold junction compensation. This type of compensation is called soft compensation. 
because the reference voltage must be calculated with hot junction voltage to get accurate reading. So this is how the thermocouple uh, measure measure the temperature compensation circuit. Why we need this the compensation circuit? Because the second junction can be controlled so that it produces zero volt. So this is accomplished by forcing its temperature to 32, 32 Fahrenheit uh, or zero degrees Celsius. In the 18th century, this was accomplished by placing the junction into the ice bath. Ice bath. So this junction became known as the cool junction. So modern thermocouple today circuit uh, can accomplish the same function with an electronic composition circuit called cold junction composition. So the cold junction composition circuit provides the equivalent voltage produced by the junction in the ice bath so that the actual voltage produced by the junction that is measuring the amount of the heat can determine the temperature accurately. So you can do this example by referring to the formula from the pressure. So this is a summary of the uh, thermocouple, summary of the um, uh, temperature. Thermocouple is the most versatile temperature trend. RTD is the most stable thermistor. Thermistor is sensitive, sensitive out of three major categories of sensor. Thermistors estimate the largest parameter change with temperature. So, um, so we we covered all the uh, instrument to measure the uh, temperature. So all the formula that can be used to calculate the voltage. So please do the example. If you cannot solve, then uh, uh, ask me. Right? I will explain to you later. But you need to try first, so that um, so that you can learn. And, and just refer to the, the slide. If you think that the slide is not enough uh, uh, input, then you can go to the uh, other material. In the internet. So I think that's all for the part one of um, part one of the um, chapter four. So we will continue for the. Um, the part two okay on next on on the next video okay that's all from me uh see you in uh, chapter uh part two in chapter four bye bye